Sun jama'a an tambaye ku kuna bukatar kallon filafine da wagoki na Hausa kyauta a wayoyinku koreko to ai kenan ku fito da wayoyinku ku anta yayin zuwa Google Play Store a cikin akwatin nema sai ku kafta MTENT TV kamar dai da kuke gani zai fito haka sai ku dangwale shi kuna dangwalar sa zai fito muku da waje kamar haka kawai sai ku kafta install ba tare da ba ta lokaci ba zai san gaba muku wannan manhaji a cikin wayoyinku ai ku yana gaba sai ku danna ofan to daga nan zai nuna muku duk abin da manhaji ta kunsa ka ba da kasafin finafine finafinan barkwanci wagogin Hausa da sauran su daga cikin sanki sun ke finafinan da suke akwai sai ku zaku wanda kuke so ku kafta kallo kai tsaye daga cikin wayoyinku ba tare da wata lokaci ba yayin da kuma aka gaba da finafine yana so a koma bangaren wagogi daga cikin manhaji sai an ta yi kaftar wagogi inda za ka lawo wagogi kala kala daban daban daga finafina Hausa ba tare da biyo ko CC ba du a cikin wannan manhaja mai suna MDENT TV to an sai ku san ga mota peje Now will you tell the court your name? Umma Aimana, my lord. Umma Aimana. Do you have a defense lawyer? No. Okay. Okay, how old are you? I'm 26. 26. Okay. Um what is your relationship with Malen Sinusi? He was my husband until a few days ago. Can you please be more specific? He divorced me exactly 9 days ago. You have not answered my question. Yes, my lord. Why did it take you so long before having a child? Was it natural or you were unable to conceive? Why well, it was a deliberate decision? I have been pregnant 6 times in the 6 years that we have spent together. of which i have two miscarriages two early abortions and two late abortions order what made you abort the pregnancies i didn't realize the reason my lord until after giving birth to my son kamal When Sunusi turned his back against me and finally divorced me. I believe Sunusi didn't consider me his legitimate wife, but rather he took me as his mistress. Probably that was why he repeatedly forced me to abort our babies. Um are you speculating or is it a fact? That is what I believe, my lord. But since Sunusi is here, you may ask him. Your ex-husband uh, claimed that uh, Kamal is not his son. What can you say about that? That is what he says, my lord. 
but I have never ever known any man in any way apart from him. Do you have witnesses? I have witnesses, my lord. The first is Allah, who knows everything. And then my elder brother, Habu, and a woman called Aunt Aisha, the wife of the man Sunusi is accusing of fathering Kamal. What is your relationship with the said Aunt Aisha? Aunt Aisha is Mala Musa's wife. The man Tunusi alleged of fathering Kamas. Mala Musa is our neighbor and I consider him as a father to me. Since my parents put me under his care when I got married to Tunusi and his father is also my father's friend. Malan Sunusi. Yes, my lord. You have had your ex-wife. Any objection to her statement? Part of it is true, while the rest is just a fabrication. Which part do you agree with? We had been married for six years, that I love her, and I had never divorced her before she brought another person's child to my house. And which part do you object to? Her claim that I made her abort her pregnancies four times. These are evil machinations by the types of women. Ishan, my son, I've been asking you where you went up. I want to sit for it in my school. I want to register at a miracle center. I don't understand. What is a miracle center? Daddy, 
Miracle centers are commercial places where candidates register for exams and nobody ever fails. And you cannot pass in your own school? Daddy, it's possible. But there's no guarantee like the Miracle Center. Daddy, please. All my schoolmates have registered there. Please, Daddy. Daddy, please. Please. Okay. How much do you want? Um, 50,000. Yeah. Here is 100,000 naira. And you can keep the change. Thank you very much, Daddy. Thank you very much, Daddy. You're one in a million. Thank you. Um, Fadila. Yes, Daddy. Sit down. Okay. Look, you don't have to thank me because I gave you a paltry sum of 100,000 naira. I want you to know who you are. You must understand that um, you are different. You are from an affluent family. And you better stop mingling with these poor kids. Do you understand? Yes, I do. And I want to assure you that if you pass this exam, I will get you a brand new car. My God, thank you very much, Daddy. Thank you. <laughs> By the grace of God, Daddy, I promise you I'll make you proud. I'll pass this exam with the flying colors. Yeah, and you'll be off to the university. Yes, <laughs> thank you very much. to hate the poor. What is the problem with um, hating the poor anyway? Are you from a poor family? Am I poor? Look, poor people should mix with poor people and allow us rich people to mingle among ourselves. Okay? Look, Fadila is my daughter and she will do what I want her to do. And better mind your business. If you want peace, don't try to interfere in this relationship, okay? You don't have any problem with this exam, Shah. Why have you said so? And everybody in our school knows that you are brilliant. If that is your reason, you need to reconsider. Because I have failed YX exam twice. This will be my third attempt. You know, exam is not a true test of knowledge. A lot of brilliant students fail repeatedly. Okay, get in. <laughs> Thank you. 
war. This is a form of corruption. What? How dare? What a stupid boy are you? You have already wronged her! But instead of apologizing, you launch into seeking her breath like a prince singer. Irresponsible. Great lady, forgive me please. And put me at ease. Your face shows that you will never repel those who offend you. No time to spare. So you have met a new friend here. You are lucky. Please join up. Please don't say that. Please. Why Fadila? I saw that he prized you so much. But I'm not impressed at all. Please let us go. I mean I can't do that. You can go ahead and do it since you think it's okay for you. But I have made up my mind this time that I will be sitting the exam in my school. And nobody will change my mind. You know, it's typical to pass at government schools. You should also register at Miracle Center and proceed to the university together with us. I will not. You will not or you can't. Even if I can afford it, I will not. Look at you. I see this as a treat to our educational system and as a form of bribery and corruption. Just say you can't afford it and stop beating around the bush. Okay, don't mind. I will pay for you. Thanks for the offer. But I can accept it. I prefer to be resitting at my school until I pass the exam. Isham, you need to move with times. This is a shortcut to university. You have already sat for the same exam twice while your old classmates are about to graduate from the university. We met you there and we are finishing together. I'm not bothered as long as I will achieve my life ambition in the end. Look, I mean, I'm in no hurry. But I have high hopes that this time around I will succeed. Good luck to you. You need to understand that not only public school students register at miracle centers, even private school students go there. I'm sure that girl you ran into was there to register too. And by mere looking, she is a rich kid attending an expensive school. You mean my friend? Your friend? You were even lucky she didn't slap you. Oh, wow, I didn't mean, come on. Do you know that girl really impressed me? Why didn't you tell her? I will when I meet her again. Okay. We may live to see the day. What about the exam? See, I mean, we have closed that chapter and it is time for prayer.
Balaji. I've been waiting for you here. Wow! Is this Mahadi? What a coincidence! Bello! It's been a long Wonderful. time! Wonderful! <laughs> Mahadi! Mahadi! <laughs> Mahadi! Nice to see you! <laughs> Where yes. have you been, Mahadi? I've been around! Wonderful! Mahadi! <laughs> Mahadi! <laughs> Bello! <laughs> well, I'm a university lecturer. Oh! And uh, you know it needs a total commitment. Oh yes, it does, it does, it does. I was about to park mm. when I saw you. I had a doubt mm. Mm. whether it was you or not. And it was me. <laughs> Mahdi! Bello. <laughs> we thank God. Yes. We are all alive. Mm. We thank God. Mahdi. Mahdi. <laughs> Automatically you change. You must to be very rich. Look at you, Mahdi. <laughs> We thank God for his message. We thank okay. God. Okay. But Bello, you know, yeah. this is not the right time or place to talk. I really want us to catch up. But let's meet either in your office or in my house or in my office. Any of these yeah, places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. why don't I give you my card? So that uh, we catch up later. That's that very okay? good. Mahadi. Yes. Happy to meet you. Thank you very much. We'll, we'll see you again. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Mahadi. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now I will call on Dr. Bello, a senior lecturer in this faculty, to deliver his speech. I welcome you all to this university. I'm Dr. Bello. I want you to understand this place is different from your homes and the secondary schools you left. This is a serious place that punishes lazy students without using canes or lashes. <clears throat> University is a place of law and order. It is for responsible people. It is where you learn good conduct. We have high hopes that you will behave decently. <clears throat> In our faculty, we seriously punish anyone who disobeys school rules and regulations. I hope you will abide by them strictly. Thank you. May God bless you.
Thank you. Thank you, Samuel. Thank you very much, sir, for your speech. We do appreciate and we are so grateful. Now I'm going to call on the faculty exam officer to come and make his remarks. Thank you. Um, I want you to understand that lessons are assessed through exams. And exams are guided by rules and regulations. It is in your own interest to realize that exams in the university are different from exams in secondary school. And you should never be involved in exam malpractice because we punish it without fear or favor. In school, you learn from lectures, from the books, from your classmates, and of course, from the physical environment of the school. Um, part of this learning is knowledge, while part of it involves changes in attitude, emotions, social behavior, and so on. Learning is a lifetime activity. It is the process of feeding the brain with knowledge. Knowledge feeds the soul of man. To keep the soul alive and healthy, one must learn continuously all through his life. Learning adds value. Your true value is the product of your talent and the knowledge you have acquired. It is through exams that we will be able to test your knowledge. Thank you and all the best. Thank you, sir. We appreciate. Now we have come to the end of this orientation program. Thank you, sir. We wish you all the best. Thank you. Mm, I'm Fadila El Mahdi. Hope you recognized me. I can never forget this face because it was the first my eyes whose features have been imprinted on my mind. Guy? Oh, Guy, you taking a leave? Yeah. All right. See you later. This is the second time we are meeting, but you always shower a lot of compliments on me, even though you don't know who I am. Even a cowgirl. Why would you think so? Because I met so many people I wanted to meet again, but I failed to do so. The reverse is true for me. I've always known that we'll meet again. Why? I've never wanted anything in life and failed to achieve it. That's why I was so confident of meeting you again. And here we are, by sheer coincidence. 
<laughs> yes, when I did it to the most. What do you mean? Don't worry, the answer will be clear to you in due course. Let me get the taxi to take you to the hospital. No, my son. You should better go to school. Didn't you tell me you have something today? Yeah, I did. But your health is more important than an exam. Let me take you to the hospital. No. I still have time since the test will not hold on to the court as I wish you a quick recovery, mommy. Well, my son, it's my life. Let's go. Oh, my son, go, go to school. Look at our mommy. Well, I hope you can wish you. I'll take it easy. I wish you a quick recovery, boy. It's my life. I'm so sad that you missed the test today. I thought you'd come earlier than me. Yeah, Fadila. Mommy woke up sick this morning. But don't worry, she's okay. The doctor assured us that she will recover within an hour. And I asked Farouk to take her home. I'm so sorry, Isham. I don't know. I wish her a very quick recovery. Thank you very much. <sighs> but Isham, this is too much. Your mom's sickness, you're missing the test and losing your phone at the same time. Oh, come on, Fadila. 
is Allah's will. Yeah, I know. But I'm afraid of what Dr. Bello said. I also have issues with him. Issues? What is it? Don't worry. I'll tell you at the right time. Oh, it is okay. Let's go. Change the route. Where are we going? I'm going to sell you at the Human Park Market. <laughs> That's okay. You can buy more cars with the money, right? Uh, but please, where are we going? I just want you to accompany me somewhere. Where? where? Just wait and see. this wow this is beautiful you like it sure I'm so glad you like it because I bought it for you for me yeah you know I want you to replace yours which was matched by a car look for dealer this is too much. I'm the one that should be doing all this. Wait, Sham. Wait. I don't want to hear such things from you. You are acting as if there's a difference between me and you. While in reality, there is not. I think if I don't...
I'm Fadila. Yes, you are always talking about this Isham. He has never visited you here. Are you really going well? Yes, mommy. Neither you nor daddy has shown an interest in meeting him. That's why I never brought him here. Come down, please come. Um, yeah, come down, please come. Um, okay. If all those who support, raise your hand. All right, all right, come down, come down. Okay, we will go on the condition of no retreat, no surrender. Whoever betrays us will be punished. Agree? Let's all place our hands here to signify our agreement.
thinking of opposing me. Dr. Bello, let me assure you that you are in trouble. I will tell If you are reading, you don't even lift your head to see who is near you. Hi, Jamila. Hello, Fadila. You know I love reading, right? Yes, I know. You have a very good reading habit. Reading is my best hobby. <laughs> you are right, my friend. You are a very serious student. I have to be serious so that no lecturer can have the chance to fail me. Fadila, why do you always criticize our lecturers? The fact that one lecturer is bad does not mean all lecturers are bad. In fact, 95% of our lecturers are good. Continue defending them if you are their lawyer. When you fall into their trap one day, you agree with me. Fadila, you will also agree with me that the bad lecturers are very few. Okay, we shall see. If you are here to read, sit down and read. No, I'm hungry now. Let's go and eat together. No, I'm going nowhere unless I'm done with my reading. Hello, Isham. Are you sure you're at the gate or you're just teasing me? Really? Okay, 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 let me show you again. <laughs> um. <laughs> You mean it? Yes, mommy, mommy, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Do you want me to meet him with an a girl? Oh uh, no. Let me take it. Okay, okay. But mommy, one minute. It's okay, just go. Mommy, let me for me. I said go. Okay. Mommy, let me for me. Mommy, let me for me. How do you like my? Well, it's a very nice place. Okay, mom is coming. All right. No. Oh, uh, good day, mom. <laughs> Isham, welcome at last. Thank you, mom. We have been hearing about you for quite a while. Um, I'm sorry, Hadja, I didn't come earlier. No problem, Isham. I'm glad we have finally met. Uh, Fadila, take me to the dining table, please. Thank you, ma. You're welcome.
Let me do that for you. Thank you. That's kind of you. Who are you and who is your father in this city? Um, Alaji, my father is nobody but a poor man who died and left my mother with three orphans. And you have the audacity to follow my daughter to this house? Are you trying to stain her with your poverty? Alaji, when did you get back and, and, and what, what are you raising against? Where were you when Fadila brought this thing into this house? Alaji, Mr. Schoolmate, I see no reason why you... Don't tell me nonsense! Have you forgotten what I told her? I have a feeling that you are part and parcel of this bullshit. You're always trying to undermine my authority in this house. And you, look at this house. Look at the size of this house. Does it look like a poor man's house? Look at the clothes we are wearing. Is it the same as yours? This food you are eating, is it similar to what you are used to eating? If you can't afford all this, you have no business to follow my daughter. You can't befriend her. So I warn you. Stay away from my daughter. Keep your poor self away from my daughter. Who knows? You may even be an informant to arm robbers. Get out. <laughs> Daddy, please. Please, it's not his fault. It's mine. Get out! Big Al Haji, good evening. I have an urgent request for you, please. What type of request? I want you to find out about a student in your school called Isham. I want you to find his faculty and department. Hello, Dr. Bello, are you with me? I can hear you. I said I want you to find out about a student called Isham. Do you know him, please? Yeah, I know him very well. He's rude and studies in our department. What did he do to you? 
Expect me in the school tomorrow morning. I'm not educated. But I'm richer than many educated people. So in my opinion, it is better for a woman to be a housewife than be a student. What? Remember that I'm your daughter? And I have the right to... How dare you? You must quickly leave my house. No! You will never get a penny from me. Excuse me. Go and inform the king or the governor or any other person that you think is capable of forcing me. I have already made up my mind and the die is cast. The king, the governor and my parents deserve to be respected. Something <laughs> terrible happens and this well behaved, well groomed and well proportioned devoted servant falls victim, light and darkness. Everything I have told you is true. He was the one because I had told him that the money was in her custody. After the movie, there is a way. Jen Magic Productions keeps the bell ringing with yet another English movie, Light and Darkness. Now it is time for you to face the most difficult situation. He needs a rigorous interrogation. Please, I'm with you. Let him suffer. No matter what, you must play a very important role for Wicked Baby's birthday because she loves you and she deserves it. Um, where is my food? Oh, your food is ready. All I'm after is my money. <laughs> you wonderful. Do all you can. The food is in your heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the ultimate game changer, programmer, designer, and planner. Light and darkness. As long as we are together, my mouth will never stop producing sentences that will please you. Wow. Light and darkness. Screenplay, Elias Umar Mekudi. Co-producer, Alhaji Sheshe. Assistant director, Muhibad Abdul Salam. Producers, Abu Bakar Bashir Mashadda and Kabir Musa Jamaji. Light and darkness. Why are you trying to deny my right to education? I don't understand. I told you several times, but you turned a blind eye to my advice. Light and darkness from the director, Hassan Giggs. Do you know the magnitude of the crime he committed? This is one of the reasons why I hate schooling. Please understand. 